Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a travel vlog. This is us at the airport heading to Sao Paulo, Brazil, and a short clip of us landing there 10 hours later. We checked in and went straight to get some food. This food was so good. We got a lot for under $10 US, which was crazy. Then we went back to the hotel, relaxed, and then met up with our friends at this rooftop bar. We ordered this. <laughs> Not your drink already being empty. Oh my God, <laughs> Got a cute pic for the gram. This is the street that we were on. I saw this cool bar across the street and we did end up going there later on in the trip. So the next morning, we came to a restaurant called Brunteria. It was so good. I got a omelet and we shared fried chicken and pancakes. And then Chigs got like a breakfast bowl. Afterwards, we started walking down the road and found this cute garden bar. <laughs> How do you know? It's been fresh? It's been fresh? How's that drink you got? What is it? What's in it? What is Caprino? What's the ingredients? Did I go interview the bartender? I didn't make it. Don't you have your bartender's license? Yeah, they didn't teach us how to make it. Oh. So you're like a impersonator bartender. another cute pic for the gram then later on this day we met up with our friends again and we went to this like four plus story mall which was so cool it was huge and the next morning we found our favorite breakfast place called coffee and co oh my god i'm still dreaming about that food it was so freaking good you guys Later on that day, we went out to the country to see our friend's parents' house, and they had an authentic Brazilian barbecue for us, which was literally probably my favorite meal of the entire trip. It was so delicious. But look at how beautiful this view is. All the greenery, the air was so different up there. We loved it. I caught Chigs on cam playing soccer with the kids. Then that night, super late, we found this Lebanese restaurant, which was delicious. Next morning, we came down to the hotel pool and just lounged for the day. How are you in 
enjoying Sao Paulo, my love? What? How are you enjoying Sao Paulo? Having a great time out here. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> you want a great vacation where your money goes far, great drinks, great food, great people. Great people. Come to Sao Paulo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had some of the best food. The freshest food, like, they really cook the food here. It makes me never want to go to another restaurant in America again because it's just all so processed. And you can tell, like, they just heated it up frozen. But the food here, we've been enjoying so much. It's all so good, so fresh. The people are so kind. And they're not all Brazilian. Like, we've met so many different types of people. Um, and we're just having so much fun. I mean, we always just enjoy each other's company no matter what we do but um yeah we went to this Lebanese restaurant last night like super late probably like 40 minutes before they closed and um we had some amazing food and the people were so nice they were straight from Lebanon they just moved here like 11 months ago and opened a restaurant and they were just so kind and the food was delicious of course they make everything like right there so yeah we're definitely enjoying our time in Sao Paulo <laughs> oh the night the roses to go out with the couple that we know that was my that was my I don't know I don't know what the hell that was At this point, we're a few drinks in and starting to get very hungry. So this is our first meal of the day. We ordered some burgers and fries to our lounge chairs. didn't get a single picture of my outfit but this night we went to a restaurant called Naka which was basically like very similar to Nobu the menu was very similar and the food was impeccable we loved it so much and this was our dessert this is the view from our hotel room guys it was so beautiful we went down for massages at our hotel spa and then out for some ramen in 88 degree weather. Later on, we went out for drinks. Now the real reason why we came to this restaurant is for this lamb shank risotto that Chicks found. Then later that night we went out to Bar Astor. This is the outside and this is the espresso martini that I got. <laughs> You're taking these huge swigs. Meanwhile, he's taking the littlest baby sips. He's not even making a dent in his drink. Babe, you're literally not even making a dent. It's all ice. Yes, but look, his drink is actually going down. Whereas yours is not. Actually, I got to run out of You don't care. After neither of them finished their drinks, we went down the road and found another bar to sit at. It was really nice outside, and I got another espresso martini. Bright and early the next morning, we headed two hours down to the beach. The beaches there are so beautiful, and it's so nice because they have vendors that set up the chairs and the umbrellas for you, so you don't have to walk around lugging all this heavy stuff. Tiggs was very proud of his photography skills on this one. 
We finished off our beach day with some fresh coconut water, then went back to our hotel to shower and went out for Indian food that night. We started off the next morning at the hotel gym, getting a good workout in. There was a storm rolling in, so I tried to take a time lapse video, but while I was using my phone to record, I got bored and I started walking around and turning on lights, and I feel like it's very distracting from the video, so I'm sorry. Later that evening, we went out for a Brazilian barbecue, and then we made it to Trabuca, that bar from earlier. The next day, I got a pedicure, which is very different from getting them in the States. There's the wedding day brunch! You get a married to? <laughs> Who am I getting married to? <laughs> <laughs> of the guys getting ready with the photographer team and a picture of me getting ready. Me and my lovely fiance at the wedding. I loved the stage at the wedding, it was so beautiful. We ended up switching hotel rooms once the wedding block started. So this was our new view. Then when we were driving to lunch, we passed by this interesting structure. <laughs> we found the cutest little Chinese restaurant. It was decorated so nicely. I loved the wooden table, the chairs, the wallpaper, everything. It was so beautiful in there and the food was delicious. We got some soup buns to start off with. Somehow I don't have a picture of my food, but this is Chig's Roasted Duck. After lunch, we met up with our friends at this outdoor marketplace and just walked around. They had different street vendors selling food, drinks, and all sorts of like clothing, jewelry items, bags, purses, everything you could think of. Then we sat down for an early dinner. This strip kind of reminded me of New Orleans with all the colorful buildings and just like eating in the middle of the road. Then the next day for our last meal before we left, we went to a Japanese place for lunch and it was all you can eat sushi. So they just kept bringing out all this different stuff and it was so good, you guys. The day after we got home, there was a full blown snowstorm and we started feeling sick and ended up testing positive for you know what. We had such an amazing trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.